equations of planes. Now vector equations of planes is kind of complicated topic and I find students struggling with this chapter. So I've decided a different approach here. So what I'm trying to do here is first make them visualize what a plane looks like and then get into the intricacies of the equations and lines and all those complications. Okay, so I'll like start from very basics. Now example number one says sketch plane with one variable pi 1 where x is equal to 4. Now these symbols the Greek alphabets are used to represent a plane and subscript just to number them and then when we say x equals to 4 you know at times x equals to 4 could be a line right but when we write with pi 1 we know it's a plane right in vectors it is always very confusing to figure out whether it represents at times a point line or a plane but well context always makes it clear so look at the context very clearly okay now before getting into the planes let me review with you x equals to 4 as a line so let me write this as line l1 as x equals to 4 right this and then be kind of good for us to understand both aspects so if we do x equals to 4 in two dimension where x and y are my coordinate axes in that case you know x equals to 4 is a vertical line correct that's your line x equals to 4 right correct now it has a x intercept it does not have y intercept the x intercept is at 4 correct and every point on this line could be anything like 4 comma any value let's write b where b is y value right 4 comma y i could have written right any point 4 comma 0 right 1 2 so the y values can have any number where b belongs to a set of real numbers is that okay so that makes a vertical line x equals to 4 right so in two dimensions we give x equals to 4 as a straight line where x is fixed that is 4 and y could have any value any real number correct so that kind of gives us an help to sketch the plane now when we are doing about plane so let me draw a sketch of the plane here so let's say we have a plane like this right now whenever you draw a plane in that case we will always have x along this side, y and then z, right? So even if I don't write x, y, z, assume that to be the case, origin O in the center. Correct. Now when I say x equals to 4, that it means this, 1, 2, 3, 4. We are here and now what? We need to draw a plane here, right? So first we know a line x equals to 4 will look like what? A line will be kind of like this. So we can at least draw a line first, right? So let me just sketch a line for you. And then we will see how to do the plane part. Right? So that's my line, which is one side of my plane, kind of. Okay. Now before getting into further details, for a plane, what do we need? For, for example, for drawing a line, what do we need? We need set of two points. So if I have two points, I can connect them and extend them to make a line. For a plane, we need at least three points. That is one part. Second part is you could have two lines also, right? Two lines and a point could also give us a plane, right? This is also one of the conditions about planes. So let's see how we can get other points. Now when we say x equals to 4, then we get this point, right? So that is our point x equals to 4. How about a point which is like, uh, so we can say on 3D, I will call this point as 4, 0, 0, correct? So 4, 0, 0 identifies this point, okay? On this line, let us say my, this point, my z value is let's say 3 right so this point will be 
4, y value is 0 here, right? We didn't move. 4, 0, and 3. Correct. That's how it is, right? Now, if I look for some other point where the x value is 4, then it could be, let's go along the y-axis. Let's say, for example, here, okay? Let, let's say along this line. In that case, let's say we move to step 1, 2. Then this point could be 4, 2, 0. Is that okay? Because the z value is 0 along this. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But still, it has x equals to 4 in it, right? That's kind of important. If I move up from here, for example, let me move up from here, right? So, and take a point somewhere. Let's say, let's say this point, right? So here, uh, what do I have? X is 4. Let's move 4 units towards X. And 1, 2, let's say 3, 4 units to Y. Let's say 4, 4. And let's say 1, 2 units to Z. So 4, 4, 2. So we get a point here, right? So that is also x equals to 4, correct? Well, what we could do is, we could also get another point. We can move from 4 and we can go 2 units to, to y and then move some point, let's say 1 unit up, right? So this point will also have x equals to 4, correct? Or we could go higher up, let's say here or here, let us say. so. So we go 4 units towards x, 2 towards y, so it's 4, 2, and then say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we get to this point, and let me call this point as uh, 4, 2, and 6, correct? So this point also happens to have x equals to 4, correct? So what I'm trying to show you a picture here of, is that all these points can be covered by a plane like this. Do you see a plane kind of? Do you see this plane, right? So this vertical plane, which is standing at x intercept of 4, correct, represents x equals to 4 as a plane. Do you see that? And the beauty of this plane is that any point on this plane, any point on this plane will have x value as 4. That is what we mean by plane x equals to 4. Correct? So that is how we are going to draw a plane x equals to 4. Now let's try to analyze and understand the very first plane which we have drawn here. Okay? So what do you think about this plane? First thing is this is parallel to yz plane. You see? This is my yz plane, right? So this plane is parallel to yz plane, right? So x equals to 4 is a plane which is parallel to yz plane and it always has a point which is could be written as, let me write that second point as, if I say f e x equals to 4, it means a point on the plane can be represented by 4 as x value and uh, any values for y and z, correct? So that is flexible with us, right? That is very flexible. And a very special point is at the x-intercept. So x-intercept of the plane will always be, let me write x-intercept here. x-intercept of our plane is always 4, 0, 0, right? When b and c are 0. Is that okay? When b and c are 0, we get our x-intercept, which is 4, 0, 0. So that is how our plane is going to look like. I think you got fairly good idea of how a plane with one variable should look like, right? If instead of x equals to 4, I write y equals to 4, then what will happen? y equals to 4 will be a plane like this, do you see? It will be parallel to y x x, z x axis, correct? So it will be a plane like this, correct? Parallel to z x axis with y intercept as 0, 4, 0, right? Correct? And any point on plane y equals to 4 will be a, 4, c. Do you understand? That is how you have to look into planes which have only one variable. Correct? I hope you understand the concept and 
If you have any doubts, write down your comments. This is most important. Visualize your plays and get a feel of them, okay? Now here are a few questions to test. Question 1. What are the intercepts of the above plane? I have put planes here, but what are the intercepts of the above plane? We discussed about y equals to 4 also, right? So you could think about that if you want to. Now anyway, find coordinates of intersection of above plane. So I actually changed my question. I discussed only one plane. Earlier I thought I'll discuss three planes with you. but Okay, I think you understand. Describe the plane pi 1 x equals to 0. So I changed this question. Instead of x equals to 4, if I write x equals to 0, you need to describe that plane. Another plane will be y equals to minus 2. So try to sketch these planes, write their properties and characteristics. Even if you give these three kind of characters, it's good, more than enough, okay? It's good enough. So do that, correct? I hope you understand about equation of planes now. Our equation x equals to 4 is kind of, you can see as if we have written b as 0, c as 0, right? And we have minus 4 here. So when you take 4 that side, it becomes x equals to 4. A is 1 for us. A is 1 for us, okay? So that is how we are going to see the plane, right? Even the direction vector, you can see the direction vector here is 1 and all others are zeros, right? 1, 0, 0, okay? Anyway, we'll talk about those things later. But I think you got good exposure to a simple plane, x equals to 4. Move on to the next kind of place.